Harrison, the series with Laredo, your final regular season matchup with the Lemurs came to a conclusion tonight. It obviously didn't end the way you guys wanted. What were your thoughts on the team's play overall throughout the three games of the series? Uh, you know what? We battled uh, every single game, even in this last game. You know, it would have been really easy to, uh, you know, just fall apart after we were down by three early in the game. And, you know, uh, that's what's different about this team than any other team I've been on. You know, we're uh, very, uh, we don't give up, you know. So I, I, I think that uh, there's a step in the right direction as far as getting ready for the playoffs. And, you know, we played this team who's in second place pretty well and took two of three. And, you know, hopefully we can uh, build off of our two victories from the series and uh, go and get St. Paul tomorrow. You said that it's a little bit different that way. Some teams aren't as unwilling to give up. Some teams just continue to battle and chip away. What do you think it is? Is it the way things are in the clubhouse? Is it veterans on the team? Is it a collective thing? Is it the coaches? What causes a team to battle like that? Uh, I think it's a lot of different things. I think it has something to do with um, the fact that everybody knows that it doesn't have to be them on any single day. Uh, anybody can, can pick up our team and uh, get the job, job done. And, uh, you know, Hoop, Hoop never gives up on us, and you know that has a big thing to do with it. Uh, you know, when your manager, you know, doesn't pout in the dugout, and you know he's uh, very upbeat even when you're down in the in the in the game, it makes it a lot easier to you know chip away early in the game, down by three, a lot of game left. So, you know, just keeping that idea in our head that you know just because we're down, you know we we can score just like they can. Their starting pitcher, and I'm sure you don't know this, but he walked nine batters, which was a league record. When you're coming to the plate against a guy who has walked that many in such a short time frame, does that factor into your bat at all? Are you maybe taking more pitches, or if you get that pitch, are you still going to swing? Uh, you know, you're looking for one spot. You know, we had a uh, you know a little scouting report on him, and we knew that uh, you know he's been a little wild. But uh, yeah, you know, my first two at bats, I was just looking for one one spot and uh, you know I drew a couple of walks and like you said nine walks that's a, you know, due to the state scouting report I think it has something to do with it. Yeah, the starting pitchers the last two nights you're obviously not a pitcher but you work behind them they didn't have maybe their A stuff the last couple of nights Eddie yesterday and then John Link tonight but what is it about them keeping you in a game that helps lift the team? Even if you don't have your best stuff, does that go into what you were talking about earlier and never giving up? They're able to still have a productive outing and give you guys a chance. Yeah, absolutely. You know, uh, by them going and having a shutdown in the afternoon, you know, if we are chipping away at the at, at a, uh, a lead, you know, if we're coming back and scoring a run, get that shutdown inning, that has a huge thing to do with it, you know? Uh, if they just roll over and you know they're leaving the ball up and not trying to make any adjustments obviously your defense you know kind of can fall into that as well but you know yeah like you said they've done a good job of just staying uh, focused and competing you know even if they don't have their best stuff they go out there and they they compete so you know it's easy to play defense behind them one more question for you before we let you go nick van stratton who was recently added to the club you played with him before i'm told you're pretty good friends with him what does he add to a ball club not only in the outfield but at the plate uh probably way too many things that i can uh talk about on here think of uh you know he's just one of those guys that's going to give you 100 percent every single day and there's no doubt about that and, uh, going to put together good at bats you know he's a smart veteran he's played in mexico he's played you know double a uh, you know he, he knows how to win so uh it's great having him out here you know it's like we've got three center fielders kind of you know at one point this year all of us have played center field so it's good to have him out here it's good to, to have a former teammate uh on the wing that's with me it's nice we appreciate the time harry before we let you go anybody you want to say hi to yes mom dad truman Grandma and Grandpa and Aunt Gina.